I'm gonna browse online and buy some Budrick and McCall's patterns that are on sale at the moment. I haven't looked at the website in ages, so I'm gonna have a quick look at the newest patterns, see if there's anything I like. Stay tuned to see comments about patterns, what my opinions are. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing, and I'm coming today from my sewing room. I've got a little corner that I tidy up when I have to film in here. I always prefer to be out there, but I really can't take my computer out there. My Wi-Fi signal is not gonna work, and what I'm gonna do with you now involves internet working, obviously. Look, I don't sew many commercial patterns, although I do like them. I've been collecting a few of them. Ever since Butterick and McCall's patterns started offering PDF files for a lot of the patterns, I've been looking at them more. In the past, there was zero way for me to be able to access these patterns because they just came in printed format. If you live in the US or the UK, Australia, New Zealand, you would be able to buy these in the paper format, you know, in, in sewing shops. Well, that was not an option for me. But now that a lot of them have PDF files, that means I can sew a lot of them as well. For me, my experience with actually making these up is more work in the preparation phase because these patterns are more difficult for me to print. They don't have a printing layout, so I have to look page by page by page to see how many papers I really need to print if there are options. Sometimes I don't want this or that sleeve and whatever, so it's just so much more work. Usually indie patterns have a chart that tells you, you know, print pages two to five if you want the short sleeve, print pages two to 10 if you want the long, you know. That doesn't happen here, and I don't wanna just print out pages I'm not gonna need. So that takes ages and it's really frustrating. I really dislike the process of putting my PDF together because I find it takes double, triple the time that it takes when I put a in the PDF together. And then I have to consider also that all of these are made for B cup sizes usually, which means I have to look at the fit, um, fitting adjustments. I don't have finished garment measurements to work with like I do in most indie patterns. So that means I have to draw my seam allowances, measure, figure out what the garment actually measures to be really happy with my size choice. Yeah, it, it's just more work in the preparation phase. Mm -hmm. The sewing, you know, that would be the same for any pattern, you know, I'm just sewing seams and whatnot, the instructions. Mm -hmm. I find are uh, acceptable, they have nice diagrams, you know, I don't have anything to say about that. But just getting ready to sew takes a long time. But I do like them, I do think that some of them are worth the effort. And I hope in 2022 I can sew a bit more commercial patterns. Do 100% prefer indie patterns for a lot of reasons. But sometimes there are styles that I find here that I do not find in indie patterns and I'm always looking for variety. I'm always looking for nice woven patterns to sew up as well. So let's have a look. I'm gonna look first at Budrick and then I'm gonna look at McCaws. I'm not gonna look at the whole catalog because then we would be here for hours, but I'm gonna focus mainly on the newer patterns. Dresses and jackets are mainly what interests me. Sometimes the coordinates where you get a lot of patterns in one pattern, like a top, a dress, a pant, you know, so let's hop in and see what I can find. Look, if you miss this sale, these are always going on sale. It's just a matter of you signing up for their newsletter on somethingdelightful.com, it's called. You will get notified when there's sales and there's always a lot of sales. This one for me, I think each pattern is gonna be $3 and something. So it's pretty good value for these patterns. I would not pay the full price. There is no way I would pay 14, 15, 17 dollars for these. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna leave my little face on the corner so it's not so impersonal. So let's see new sewing patterns, the four patterns. Look, about a year ago I did a similar video to this when there was a sale that made them about five dollars each. So a lot of the older patterns I would have already had a comment about, that's why I'm just focusing on the new ones. Okay, Butterick 6860. This is something that I like immediately when I see it. This type of blazer with like a more open neckline and a clean front with no lapels and a single button tends to be super suited for people with a larger bust. They only have waist darts, so there's no darts on the side. And it reaches the mid to full hip depending on your height center back seam. I think there's a detail on the hem of the blazer maybe. 
let's have a look yeah there's a bit of ruching there going on on the side of the blazer i don't think that is a detail that i like i could easily remove that the wrap skirt is very basic with an elasticated waist it's not a style that interests me particularly because it's midi length but i know my mum would love a skirt like that i could make that for her and the pants are those pull-on pants that don't have a waistband they seem to just have an excess of length at the top that you fold under put your elastic through these are super easy to fit pants, it's easy to sew as well. So this is definitely a pattern I would love to buy, but it doesn't come in PDF format. It just comes in a standard pattern. I'm not sure why. It, it's a real bummer really, because I really like it. So if you can get this in a paper pattern, get it, because I think it's really nice. Okay, Butterick 6858. This is a Mrs. Neat dress top skirt and pants. Okay, just because it brings a lot of patterns in this one pattern, I'm interested to have a look. With this type of fabric, you can't really see the details, but it looks like there's a bit of gathering on an overlap. You can see princess seams coming from the neckline. They come from the neckline. I think that could give a nice amount of shaping. I would not want to sew that kangaroo pocket for sure. I think the pants look nice. They seem to have seams in the middle of the leg, but as usual, the line art is what holds the truth. I always focus a lot on the line art rather than the styled pictures because sometimes the fabrics don't show you the details or you might not like the fabric and then you just sort of glance through it quickly because it's just ugly for you. I like this seam here on the dress. You could get a really nice bust fit there if you could adapt it. And that collar looks interesting as well for winter weather. I like skirts that have panels like this. I think it's really nice because you can use up your fabric a bit better sometimes. And the look of the pants, I also like that there's seams in the front and the back. Angled pockets there. This is definitely a pattern I like. It has a digital pattern available and that is really good. So the sizing isn't amazing. It just goes from extra small to XXL. So it's not an amazing size range. Okay, so that's in my cart. Okay, then there's this Mrs. Jacket 6862. Now, if this had a different type of lapel, I would like this. It's just that this lapel um, just screams a little bit too masculine for me. I've seen a lot of men's jackets from the 90s and the 80s have this style of lapel. This point here, like that, I'm not a fan of. I like the more traditional collar. And lapel now this coat and dress is really pretty but i also see that it just has a standard pattern it doesn't have the digital i'm not too much of a fan of the coat i just think it's too much volume um, that type of coat would take up tons of yardage wool is expensive so you would end up with a pretty expensive garment but i love the look of the dress here with um, a sort of sheer material on the top this yoke that is slightly curved the sleeves, I think it's a really elegant de design. I'd love to sew it, but there's no PDF pattern, so yeah, that's a no. Okay, continuing with new ones, Butterick 6856. This is a really nice blouse. I really like the look of it. Maybe the bust pockets are something I wouldn't want to sew because I never want to highlight my bust there, but I think for someone that has a smaller bust, it could be a really nice detail that could balance you know, the, the details on the top. So that's nice. Same as these epaulets on the top, that is something I would not like to sew. But what I really like is that mandarin collar and this curved placket with that V look on the front, I think is really pretty. I can see here on the sleeves, there are some details like a tower placket cuff. There's a tab there. Look, I never saw those tabs because I'm never gonna fold up my sleeves. And I think it's an area where you could rip your blouse if you're working with delicate materials. So I see the practicality, but I just wouldn't sew that. There is a side bust out there, which would make making a full bust adjustment super easy. I would have to do a full bust adjustment. There's no way around it. These patterns are made for a B cup. And I know that if I want my garment to fit nicely on the sides and everywhere on the center, you know, I would have to do that. But full bust adjustment takes literally two minutes to make. So that is not an, an issue for me. There's a nice amount of ease there at the hips. A nice, nice design to make with a drapey fabric. I really like it. There's a yoke and a pleat detail. I think it's super classic. Yeah, look, I like that they show women of all ages here on these. Very nice. Okay, there is a liner. You can clearly see the tower plackets here on the sleeve. I've done that before. 
very nice detail. Look at these back waist studs, I think that's awesome as well. And crepe, shamu, silk, basically lightweight woven fabrics, which are my favorite ones to sew and I collect. So there is a digital pattern option here and I would love that one. Sizing, sizing goes from eight to 16 and then 16 to 24. So I'll just get that second option there and add it to my cart. Butterick 6857, look, this immediately looks like a pattern I've already made from Love Notions, the Terra Tunic, this asymmetric collar like that. And when I click down, even this view with the buttons on the shoulders and the facing on the neckline is just like the Terra Tunic. Look, the Terra Tunic is an older pattern from Love Notions and Butterick just has it now. It just looks like the same pattern. The difference here maybe might be these bishop sleeves. There are regular sleeves also. Look, if I have an indie pattern that I know and love and I love how it fits and everything, I would rather sew that one. This Butterick 6855 does not have a PDF option, unfortunately, just a printed pattern. But it is nice when I look at the line out here, I like that overlapped V neckline with a the pleat there and all the details. It's a nice design for very lightweight wovens. I would not want to make this in anything too structured. It's nice, I like it, but I can't get it. Butterick 6863, this is a jacket. Now, uh, let's see, is this for knit fabrics? Because that looks like a woven. Interlock French Terry jersey sweatshirt fleece. Yeah, it is for low stretch knit materials. I'm not a fan, I just think it's too big and too boxy. Uh, there's no shape or anything there. When you see the back, you see these folds like this. That just means it's just too much ease for me. I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't feel comfortable in such an oversized garment. If we look at the liner, you can see that it's a really dropped shoulder with sort of like a square sleeve. I know this style would not suit me, no. I mean, if I were wanting to sew a jacket made out of sweatshirting, I would rather sew something that's more fitted to me and has a regular sleeve, like a regular armhole and sleeve, rather than this. Butterick 6866 skirt and sash. These skirts are nice if you like to wear longer skirts, like the original is here, because you get that nice flare and volume from this gold design like that, that overlap. But because I like to wear shorter skirts, if I shorten this, then the skirt just turns out to be A-lined and the gauze and the volume don't make that much sense. It is a style that I like to look at on other people, but it is not a style that would work for me. No, that is a no for me. And it also just comes in a standard pattern, no PDF there. This pan also, 6865, is very basic. There's no PDF here. It's just a very basic pan, but I feel like yawning when I see it. Not that it's bad, it's just boring in my opinion. 6864 is another pattern that doesn't have a PDF and there's a sash there which I find really impractical for myself because I will never tuck anything in like you see this person here with the blouse inside. Those details, it would just never show on me. But it's a nice style with a straight leg and I like the patch pockets. It has a zipper on the front, a curved waistband. It's just a regular trouser with straight legs. It's okay. I just can't get it either. <clears throat> but I have other patterns that I've already fitted to myself in wovens that I would rather just keep sewing instead of going through all the process of fitting another one again. Just the fact that it says jumpsuit, sash and belt is a hard no for me. I just cannot wear these jumpsuits. This is a very basic style, knit dress top skirts and pants. It doesn't have a PDF. Let's see the line out here because it looks pretty basic. Look, if you can get this pattern, I think it's nice just because of the detail here on the raglan sleeve. There's a bit of gathers there on the front and the back, which is something different, not something you typically see on raglan sleeves. If this was a PDF, I would get it, but it's not, but it's nice. It's very basic, but at least there's a detail there that is a bit different. And you get a skirt as well as the pants and everything. So good value there. I'm gonna look at the section of the dresses just quickly just maybe one or two of the pages here. I really like the design. You can actually see it even through this print, but of course the liner is gonna tell you a little bit more. It's got a crossover front with some draping on the skirt and the bodice, bust studs, flared sleeves or regular sleeves. It could be a dress or a jumpsuit. It is a pretty design and it has a PDF. The sizes here won't work for me, 18W to 32W. 
but if these are your sizes I think it's really really pretty this 6823 when I look at this blue color there I just don't like it because of the color I also think there's too many details with the flounce going on all the way from the bodice seam and the gathers right there in the same place I just think there's too much going on here. It's it just got too many details and the skirt is too long. It would be not that straightforward to shorten it. And yeah, there's just nothing here that I like. This is a very basic dress as well. There's just nothing here that is exciting or new. I have patterns like this that already fit me. So this is something I wouldn't be excited about. 6849, dress with an optional collar. Look, this looks like a really basic dress as well. It's just got a bodice with darts and a skirt. It is a style that I like to wear, but again, I already have patterns that fit me in this way. You know, there is a bust dart and a waist dart, which means that you couldn't do an easy full bust adjustment there because all your references are already there but there's just nothing interesting or original or any special detail there that would make me excited. 6843 looks like a pattern I've already sewn. It is a classic shirt dress with a flared skirt. Look, this is just too oversized. It's not something that I would want to sew up. Yeah, it's completely boxy, shapeless, it has that cocoon style that it goes narrower at the hips. It's not a style that would suit me or suit a lot of people because it tends to emphasize the shoulders. It's really 80s for me and yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Could be super easy to sew though. Butterick 6804. This one has bust cup sizes A, B, C, D. But I think there's just too much going on here on the neckline. The neckline is way too high for what I prefer. On this solid, you can see all those pleats and this look, if the dress was just the pleats on the neckline and a regular sleeve, then I would be more interested. But having the detail on the sleeve here with pleats and the neckline with pleats, I think it's too much. At least for me, I'm giving you just my opinions. This one also has bust cup sizes, Budrick 6809. Let's have a look at this solid version. I like this one. I think it's really classic. I like the amount of volume on the skirt and I think it would look nicer if I shortened it as well. There are side bust studs and waist studs. Look, on this model here, this waist star is too high. It's almost over her bust there. Yeah, it's it's not a great fit for her. Also, her side bust star is too high. I would think they would pay attention to that because these are product pictures. They would customize a little bit for the models, but I suppose that doesn't happen. The only thing I don't like about this dress is the sleeve. Or maybe it's the way they've sewn it here with a really structured fabric look how look how big this goes right there i mean i have sewn sleeves with some gathers there but they're very discreet very slight where it doesn't add actual volume going up it just stays nice and flat anyway even though there's gathers there so this i am not a fan of at all but there is a sleeveless option which i think is nice i think this is a nice classic i would like to try I'm not sure if it's finished with the facing inside, but I like that V, I think it's pretty. Cotton blends, linen, poplin, crepe. Yeah, so this puffy sleeve, they probably sewed it up with some type of cotton, but it's just way too puffy. It's just not what I would like. Same as the sash or the belt, I don't know. Anyway, I like it. It's nice and classic. It is available in PDF. Sizes 6 to 22 separated in two size ranges. I'll just get the 14 to 22 and add it to my bag there. 6807. Look, this print doesn't let you see anything, but there seems to be some ruching here. Let's see the line out. Yeah, there's just so much going on here. So much going on. All the gathers under the bus, the ruching on the side, the angle here, the flounce, the, the gathers here, the gathers there. Oh my gosh, it's just too much going on. It's a busy design. It's just got too much going on. Okay, this 6805, it seems to have puffy sleeves also and a curved sort of empire line with gathers under the bust. Color blocking is interesting, but the line art will probably be more helpful. Yeah, I don't like those ties on the sleeves. Look, if you have a larger cup size, it's not just about sewing the pattern like it is. You also need to add length so that it does end up being under the bust and not cutting the bust in half, which usually happens when you have a larger bust cup size than a, than a B. You look at the size chart, you find the circumference, you think you're gonna be fine, but then this is so short and it just cuts your apex. It's not a good look and it takes a little extra time to fit designs like this so that they do 
fit right under the bust like they're supposed to. Yeah, that's a pass for me. And now coming down here, I've already seen these on a previous video. These are older patterns, so I'm not gonna see those again. Butterick 6820. I find jackets that are wrapped are meant to be worn with a sash super unpractical because I like wearing my jackets open and this is a style that you have to wear like it is like that so it's not not something I would want to make for myself. Also I'm not a fan of all the peplums and, and flounces and things, the rounded areas. So there's something about it that doesn't Caught to me at all. This is another type of coat or jacket that you have to wear buttoned up because it's asymmetric and it's on the side. It would be, it would look very strange if you wore it open. And I'd rather have styles that you could wear both open and closed because my preference is to wear them open. So if it's only going to look nice closed, I'd rather not sew styles like that. The rest are older patterns that I have already seen. Let's look at McCall's. Now I know there's Vogue and Quick Sew and other things, but they just don't have PDF patterns, so I'm not interested in those. New patterns for four. Now I think that none of these come in PDF format. I don't know why. Maybe they offer the digitals later down the line. This style is not a thing I would pay for, just a big sort of oversized thing with sleeves. The dress with the little collar, the round collars I'm not a fan of. This one, I've seen it around, people have talked about it, but I just don't like that ruching there. It could just add volume to the bust and to the abdomen area. I, I would not be interested in, in sewing up a pattern like that. This one with cutouts there. I think cutouts are really trendy right now, but any cutout that doesn't allow you to wear your proper bra for me is a no. Same as this opening here, I think would be too revealing. Uh, I don't know what they're offering here. Pleated skirt, not for me. No, you know, McCall's is not calling to me at all today. This wrap top is so short. I like this collar and placket, let's see. Oh, this one comes in digital. So I like that collar and that placket there. I think it's nice. Okay, there's a line art. I think I would really want to sew up this style. Okay, at least this one comes in a digital file, which is something I could access. I like that style. I think it would be different to anything I've sewn. Sizing extra small to 2XL. It's not a great size range, but at least it's all in the same file. So I'm going to add this one to my bag. This sweater, this sweatshirt, this jumpsuit, this jump, no. You know, McCall's the new patterns, there's not much going on that I'm going to look at here. Kids costumes. Halloween things that have already passed. So I'm gonna have just a quick look at the dresses because I like looking at dresses. Okay, here are some dresses, 8192. It looks like a dress with a lot of volume. Yeah, definitely don't like those ruffles there. Oh, this open back, okay. So anything with a huge open back where I can't wear a bra is a hard pass for me. It's just not a style I could wear. The liner shows that open back on both of the views. So no, no. This one has an empire cut line. I have sewn styles with tees, but for me, my personal maximum is two tees for a dress that hits the waist and then two tees below. For a top, I can only deal with one tee. So this is just got, this one has too many tees, not for me. 8195, look, just by looking at this, I don't like that blue with the orange. Like why would they match those two colors? It's just not something I like. Also, because this style here goes right under the bust there, that shape is also difficult to fit if you have a larger bust cup size. So even if it looks like the size is there for you, you know, it, it might not fit your bust at all. Your bust might be lower than that and just fuller and it would require substantial adjustments right here, which is, it's not, not that fun to do. Yeah, I don't like these sleeves and this is just too much, but although this is a style I like and it's pretty, I think it would be super hard for me to get a good fit and to not show my bra right there on that intersection there of seams. You would have to have a really low cut bra and my bras are typically not like that, having a larger cup size, so no. This is a style that could be super cute with the princess seams. A sort of a squarish neckline with a little V in the front, has a center front seam, has a lot of seams actually, but the skirt could be a little bit too full for what I prefer. It is a nice design, although I must say again, being this a B cup, doing a full bust adjustment on the princess seam can be a little bit of work. It is something that's required. 
So basically, I'd need to lower my bust point on the princess seam first and then do a full bust adjustment to get a proper fit like that. And so even if the sizes are really good from sizes 8 to 32W, if you have a larger bust cup size and you're choosing, say, size 24W, you might run into problems with your shoulders, with the bust not fitting properly because of the B cup size that these are made for. It doesn't say that there's specific bust cup sizes here. So it's one that I like but I know it would be a lot of work to fit. So I would just pass. Maybe an indie pattern that offers separate bust cup sizes would be a much better option and a nicer sewing experience as well. So far, I've gotten excited with only a few. This one, yeah, that cotton is so stiff. No, I don't like all those gathers on the pants and the fact that they made it with a cotton there. Cotton blends, gingham, sateen, poplin, basically really stiff type of fabrics. Again, a really good size range from 8 up to 32W, but because they just offer the B cup size, it will take a bit of fitting and a plenty of making muslins to get this to fit correctly. So I would rather not, not go there. This skirt here is too full. This is a neat dress. The skirt is just way too full for what I like. Not for me, it's pretty basic as well. There's no special detail there either. Okay, this is like a baby doll dress with the empire line, like right under the bust and a lot of volume and gathers there. It's not something I would feel comfortable in. It feels a little bit juvenile. This dress is just too fitted. It's like a bodycon with buttons. No, no, nothing really exciting going on there. Okay, 82112, let me tell you how much I dislike this fabric and this print. It's just my opinion, you know, I just don't like pastel and those pink colors. I don't like the styling with the hat also. You know, you never know. I, I sort of think there might be a nice neckline and, and details hidden in this um, print that I don't like. So I'm just going, oh, that's another print I don't like. But here I can see the details a bit more. There's a nice collar and a nice placard that overlaps there, a bit of gathers right there in raglan sleeves. So those details I like. This is something I would like. This is something I would wear. I like that collar, I like that placket. I like the gathers above the bust, the raglan sleeves. It's nice. I don't like the hat. Not interested in making my masks. I'd rather buy those. Even though my first impression is pretty negative, it's got to do with the way they present the product. I tried to just look past that and just see the liner and see what the truth really is. Size range, not great. Let's get that, adding it to the bag. 8213, no, this is not a style that I would really like. I would rather have a separate bodice there than having that band really tight above the bust. This is a style that can really emphasize a big bust. Yeah, this is not something I would want to sew either. Dolman sleeve, Just it just looks like a, a design that will put me to sleep, basically. I'm gonna have a quick look at these others. Look, this one that has an opening here on the sides, I, could, I couldn't pull that off. I would not feel comfortable. I think it's too revealing. Not for me. This one's a bit short. The skirt is too full. This one, I think the flounce is in a place that I wouldn't want it to be there, right under my bottom. If you notice, I make really quick decisions and I know pretty fast if I like something or not. This is nice, I mean these halter type of designs are nice but I don't have a proper bra to be able to wear this because my bra straps would show so I wouldn't be comfortable. This is something I would like, 8139, it's a little bit more classic. This is dresses and belts, I like that collar, button down, a waist seam, that's on the waist and on the side which means that you could get a good fit on the bodice slash pockets on the skirt. Okay, this red one here, you can really see the details. This is something I would like. I think it's really classic. You could wear this for a very, very long time and it would never be like on trend or off trend or whatever. I like it. I like it a lot. Has a regular sleeve, that's on the back of the skirt. There is a back yoke and a back center seam. Whenever you see a back center seam on orders, it means you can customize the feet much easier. It's much easier to do a sway back adjustment than if it's on the fold. So when I see designs that have these seam lines, I'm really happy because it's easier to get a good fit there. These darts that are here on the side and on the skirt and on the waist, I could easily adjust those. I usually have to shorten this one, make it shorter and just do my full bust adjustment in there to bring it from a B cup to a C cup. 
makes a world of difference for me. So this is nice, I like this. I'm gonna get the 16 to 24 size range there and add it to my cart. This looks like a very basic dress, nothing really interesting there. This ruching in the center, I'm not a fan of. The big sleeves, I think there's an off shoulder version here. 81, 42, I can't do that. I don't have a bra for that, but it's pretty, but it's just not for me. This looks just like a basic t-shirt. That neckline sort of caught me. I like these dolman sleeves with a the slit there and the tie. I think that's pretty and it adds a little bit of interest to a dolman sleeve. And yeah, I like this. I like this scoop neckline with that tiny, tiny placket. I think that's really pretty. Bus pockets, I would probably not sew. I'd probably not sew these pockets here on the hips either. A really dramatic curved hem. There's no way I could hem that without using bias tape. I would have to use bias tape to hem that so it wouldn't be nice and smooth. It's like a nice little shift dress that you could wear a belt with. Looks like it's really easy to sew. But what I like about this is the details of the neckline right here and of the sleeve right there. I think those are worth it for me. And let's see, it looks like it's for lightweight wovens. Not really, chambray denim cotton blends crepes. I would rather make this with a rayon for sure, so it's more drapey. Sizing is again, not great. Extra small to 2XL. And I have to choose the one that has large, extra large and 2XL in the file so that those are all the sizes I get for purchasing this, 8167. Why do I open this one? Because I like the neckline. I just saw it really quickly. And it's a way to wear a higher neckline for me, which I usually don't want to, but if there's a, a detail lower showing a little bit of skin on the upper chest, I'm all for it. I can't see cleavage showing there, but I think it's a really nice detail. Something that you could make with a really nice drapey woven. Some people are not a fan of the high-low. I do like a high-low. But if you really hate that, it would be so easy to just even that out and just make it straight. It has a regular sleeve. Not a fan of the flounce there at the bottom of the sleeve on this one. And you could wear this with a belt to give it a bit more shaping. But there are days when I just want to wear things nice and loose like that. I don't really care. I just want to be comfortable. And if it's really well made with a really nice print, it's going to look nice anyway. I'm not against garments that are looser like that if there's something nice to them like a really nice neckline it could be an easier pattern to sew the only thing you need to spend more time is is with the neckline there and sizes are not that great extra small to xl that is all so let's get this one okay these ones yeah not a fan of the strapless it's just not a style that i'm looking for the ruching all along the center for is a no for me i would rather have ruching in smaller areas maybe around the hip, around the waist, and maybe on just one side, but the whole front like that, not something I would want to, to make. Look, this one has gathers on the sleeves and on the skirt, it's too much. I also want to have a quick look at the jackets. These are McCall's jackets. See if there's anything I like. This one's just too big, too boxy. I prefer things that are closer fitting, so I'm not gonna look at that. I don't think this is for me. Liner is totally shapeless, and then the only detail is this furry type of fake fur. Prefer something with a bit more darts in there. This just looks like a basic cardigan. Model jackets, I have patterns like this already from indie brands I would prefer to sew up. This vest looks interesting. I think it could also be a dress. McCall's 8122. I think they have it styled here with skinny jeans and a cami underneath. So I think you could wear it with nothing and it be a dress or a vest, a long vest. So there's completely buttoned up. I like that. So I'm a person that likes long sleeveless things. <laughs> I've got a few neat ones. This was a nice pattern I would like to make because of the collar detail, look at this. And it's got really nice shaping with princess seams. It's also got waist studs and princess seams on the back. Collar, I think it's nice. I wouldn't wear it as a dress. I would prefer to wear it open as a vest on top of a dress or on pants like they have it here. Okay, I'm gonna get 16 to 24 and add that to my bag. So I'm excited about that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight patterns. I have eight patterns here in my cart, $28. I think it's great value. If you like any of these that you saw, maybe write them down somewhere. If you miss the sale now, you can probably get them in another time. You can probably get them for less than what I can. I'm gonna end up paying $3.59 for these each, which, is a, which I think is good. I'm really happy with my choices because 
I've chosen styles I think that are pretty classic, some styles that are pretty simple but have little details there that I like. Hope this was fun to watch, gives you a little bit of insight and ideas, maybe things you don't think about that much when you're looking at patterns. I take my time and I look a lot at the details, the line art, how it fits on the person, the size available. I don't just buy really quickly, you know. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.